Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your PHP code with Postgres database using video drivers. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is open text editor, create one, let's say sample.php file. And inside that, I'm going to start with try catch block. Now, before we execute our code, we need to make sure that the service for Postgres is running. So go to the Postgres install on your Windows and make sure that you have Postgres service started. So just click on this start Postgres 10. In my case, it's 10. In your case, in future, this could be 12 or so. Just make sure that on Windows, this service is started. If you are on Mac or Linux, then you have to follow the respective uh, service startup triggers okay so after that uh, let's get back to the code and here is my try block outside which I'm gonna add catch okay so for catch we are going to use video exception and I'm going to just make sure to echo that exception and say a get message okay that's it in try block we are going to call for our video code so my video okay but make sure that you have your dollar sign here so my video and then new video and here we are going to start with let's say first driver for pg sql and point it to host here we just have to mention localhost and we don't have to mention the board name that will be taken care of by video okay so db name and here i'm going to use test bb as my database Next thing, we are simply going to check for username, which is Postgres in my case. In your case, you have to check that. Then password, demo1234 is my password. Okay. And after that, uh, code is complete. We're just going to come out here and echo that connected to Postgres SQL with PDO. Okay. Now save your file. Make sure that everything is properly placed. Then open your browser and then navigate to the your local host. IP in my case it's 127.0.0.1 which in your case will be the same if you're using XAMPP or Vietnami stack. Then point to the PHP file that we just created, hit enter. Okay, and it should show you the error that it may have here. Okay, so it will point you that it could not translate host name, local host, DB name, test BB to address. Okay. So we have to correct that part. We have to check what needs to be fixed. So we have PG SQL host to local host, which is fine. Then DB name, test BB. Okay. So make sure to check this address properly. And we have to check whether it properly works out. Okay, so here instead of comma, make sure it's semicolon and not comma. Okay, once we do that, we simply open browser again and reload the page. And here you see connected to PostgreSQL with video. So the error was with this lack of semicolon that separates your host details with database name. Okay, make sure that it is semicolon and not comma such as this. Okay, you can recreate the error by simply using comma instead of semicolon. Okay, so 
save your file with semicolon in it and you are good to go okay so this was a simple example on how to connect your php code to postgresql database